Welcome to the third part of this AnimTree video tutorial series. Hopefully this tutorial will be a nice short sharp one. All we're going to be doing in this is I'll be explaining how to use the Blend by Physics node and also how to add jumping animations to your character. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and open the content browser up again and open up our AnimTree that we continued uh, continue on from the last tutorial. Um, if you've done any programming or have had much experience with the Unreal Engine then you'll know that there are physics types that an actor can have. For instance, uh, fizz walking is when the character's walking. Fizz falling is when the character's in the air. And there are all different types of physics you can use. Uh, we can actually use a node for this uh, to play different animations depending on the physics state of the character. So if we go ahead and add a new animation node, anim node blend by physics, you can see that these are all the physics options here. Uh, fizz walking, fizz falling. They're probably the only two that are really relevant to us at the moment. Um, so what we'll do is we'll add this node in at the very start here. Link that up. And all these here are animations related to when we're walking. So obviously one's crouching, but when we're crouching and walking, our physics is always going to be in fizz walking. So we want to take our fizz walking and link it up to our anim node blend by posture. So these animations only get played when we're actually uh, in uh, the walking physics mode. Uh, we have this option here called Fizz Falling and when a player jumps they enter this this physics state, Fizz Falling. So what we'll do, let's rearrange this a bit to make it easier, is we can actually add an animation node uh, to determine the kind of falling animation that we need to play. So we add a new animation node UDK Anim Blend by Fall. And we'll get up to Fizz Falling. Now you'll see here we've got uh, a bunch of different kinds of, um, of of inputs here. Jumping animations in Unreal aren't just one single animation. It's a set of four, five, eight, however many animations you choose to use, which actually make up a complete jump. Up is played when the character leaves the ground and is going upwards in their jump. Down is played as the character is falling. Pre-land is played just before the character is about uh, is going to land, and land is played when the character is actually landing. Also we have double jump up, double jump down, etc, which are the same uh, the same idea as those. So you want to make sure that your jumping animations are actually split up into four separate pieces so you can use this node appropriately. Um, once again unfortunately this character's no, uh, jumping animation is not split up but the basic idea once again is it does have a jumping animation which we can use just to demonstrate. I'll just find it here. And I'm trying to back up. And it is called EC Female Jump. Now, once again, we want this to be Fizz Falling. Um, see if we just check play on this character. We can see that the animation just got played. Once there, check it again and we'll see. Oh, need to reset our starting time. And check playing and our animation just gets played. It's a basic jump that's not split up, uh, but you will definitely need to split yours up for this to work properly. Now, one issue with uh, the engine is that if you have an invalid animation name for various kinds of nodes, Utica and Implantable follows one of them, uh, the game will crash when it tries to play that animation. So if you have an invalid down animation, or mistyped your animation name or something like that, you'll get a crash and there will be a console error to alert you. Just make sure when you're setting all these up that you do double check the names of your animations. Right now you may have noticed that this window has actually just changed a little bit from the thing that you last saw. Um, as I was doing this yet it actually crashed so I had to pause a little bit, cut some stuff out of the video to make it look not as bad. Um, so again just you know proof that you should be saving your, uh, your package as much as possible. Now, I have set up just these four jump animations to be the same animation. Obviously, you'll want yours to be your unique ones. But if we go ahead and jump in game, and just, we can see that the jump animation actually plays there for us. So, we get a jump. Looks dodgy because it's not blending properly and all that kind of thing, but the basic idea is that it does work. Uh, you'll see we do have a lot of other animations here um, that you can play around with however you want to set. 
Uh, child blend times is an, is an interesting little option here where you can actually set unique blend times uh, for each of the children of this node. Uh, if you select this and just expand child blend times and sort of increase child 0, you might want it to be 0.25 child 1 you might want the blend time to be 0.15 um, once again play active child uh, whether this is required for each node is something you really have to try and play with and figure out for yourself uh, a vast majority of the time it's not but if you ever get in a situation where only the first uh, frame of your animation is being played uh, try checking play active child and it may resolve any issues that you actually have so that's hasn't really made made that much of a difference for me, so uh, you can still see I'm I'm still jumping away there. Now the other thing that we can do, which I'll show you as a final little part of this tutorial, is um, obviously we're not limited to just an individual set of jumping animations. There are say two things that we can we can do to these jumping animations to change them and make them a little bit more interesting. The first thing we could do is we could take this entire blend by fall. Uh, we'll create a copy of it and let's just assume that we have two sets of jumping animations. One might be character jumping up and doing the splits and the other one might just be a normal jump. What we can add is this anim node random. Now what this uh, and once again the anim tree editor did just crash again. Let's have another go at adding this anim node random. There we go, all good. So we'll hook Fizz falling up to that. And all we do is just add the number of children that we want to randomize. So we have two children here, two different anim blend by falls. We can call them child one and child two, nothing major there. And in the random info here, we have a chance and a bunch of other things that we need blend times. Uh, how many times we want to loop a certain animation if it's a looping one. Now for each of these we might want this to play uh, 0.5 and a 0.5% chance to play these ones as well. And all we do is simply hook these up and when you go in game and try jumping, jump a few times and you'll get a different animation hopefully each time. Obviously it's, it's randomised, you can randomise between 2 or 10 if you really feel the need to. Uh, one last thing that I will demonstrate to you is yet another way that you can have a little bit of variation uh, in your node, in your f uh, jumping node here, is that there's no reason that we can't have different jumping animations when our character is moving compared to when our character is idling. Now we've gone through and set up some idle and moving things here already. If we really wanted to, we could do a similar thing with the uh, blend by fall. So we just duplicate this and if we just add this one here, a blend by idle start here with fizz falling and we could blend to this blend by fall if we were idle or we could play a random one if we were moving. So as you can see now we're starting to get somewhat of a large animation tree and you can do some fairly complex things just with the built-in nodes. I really recommend that you go through all these nodes, have a look at them, um, read any of the script documentation that might come with them, read on UDN, uh, any information that you can get on the nodes, because there's a fair amount of stuff that you can do through, through the animation tree to give your characters a little bit of life and variation. Um, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, once again, hopefully it was useful, and I hope you tune in to the next one. Cheers.